Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be going over my current Intellivision collection. So, growing up, I didn't have an Intellivision. My dad didn't buy one, I didn't buy one. Shoot, I, I don't think I had one until I was like in my early 20s. Um, some, someone had walked up with one in the used video game store uh, that I was working at and wanted to sell it and the owner didn't want it because honestly, uh, we were even having a hard time moving NES games back in the day. And so he, uh, he rejected it and I asked if I could buy it, much like every other weird old system that I've got. And I want to say I spent about 40 bucks on it and got an entire television with a bunch of games. Now, I'm not going to say that like I've been really looking forward to the system or deep diving into it or whatever. Uh, because honestly, I didn't know that much about it. All I knew was it was a system that I didn't have at the time and that I was basically collecting everything back then because I had a lot of disposable income and well, you know, a fool in his money. So <clears throat> yes, it is kind of strange to say it, but I do have an entire system essentially on my backlog. Now, a lot of time has gone since I've had the system and yes I, I know I still haven't really played it that much I played it enough to make sure that every game that I own works and that the system still works and other than that yeah it's still sitting on the backlog but I do plan on getting to it eventually it's just I keep getting distracted by new and shiny things but with all of that said, let's go over a little bit of what the Intellivision is. The Intellivision is a home video game console that was developed and released by Mattel Electronics in 1979. It's one of the first consoles to feature a microprocessor that was marketed as more advanced alternative to the Atari 2600. The Intellivision features a unique controller with a numeric keypad, a thumb operated directional disc, and a set of act action buttons. Uh, the console is known for its advanced graphics and sound capabilities, which allowed for more detailed and realistic games that were available on other consoles at the time. And television was released in several different variations, including the original television, the Intellivision 2, and the Intellivision 3. The Intellivision 2 was a cost-reduced version of the original, while the 3 was a prototype that never officially released. The Intellivision had a significant library of games with more than 150 titles released for the console. Some of the more popular games for the Intellivision include Major League, Major League Baseball, NFL Football, and Space Battle. Overall, the system was an innovative and advanced console for its time, and it was, and it offered a unique gaming experience with advanced graphics and sound capabilities and a unique controller design. Now, with all of that said, let's get on to my current Intellivision collection. Okay, it's the Intellivision collection. We have Space Spartans complete in the box, although the box is failing on some of the glue, but I've got the insert. I've got some instructions and, and some various other extras, and then the cartridge right here. It's one of the few ones that had the gold. I think that means it interacts with the voice box for the system. Then Advanced Dungeons and Dragons has most of the stuff. Again, you can see where the adhesive has failed with the box and how the adhesive is actually eating away at the label.
in a universal game case. I've got the Las Vegas poker and blackjack game. I uh, actually have one of the inserts. I took a card protector and cut it kind of short so I could keep it in here with this game. And another game where you can't really tell too much on camera, but in person, you can tell that the that the label is being eaten up by all of the glue that's actually helping the label adhere. And I think the rest of my collection is in Universal Game Cases as well. We have Vectron. Hover Force. Sounds like an interesting game. I've not really gotten into the Intellivision too much, but I do plan on playing it in the future. Horse racing. Utopia. I tried modifying the Universal game cases to hold these games better, but eventually the glue gives way. <clears throat> And you just can't keep them in there that well. Boxing. Space Armada. That's another one where you can see I've still got the, the inserts. I actually have both of the inserts. Or overlays. Ooh. This is a rough version of Pac-Man, and that's being generous. It is, um, it is for the Intellivision, but it's not a good version of this game. And like a child of the 80s, I saw Masters of the Universe, the Power of He-Man, and I had to have it. Commando. All of these covers I've printed from the Cover Project. Uh, wonderful website. Definitely go there if you're looking to do any kind of thing like this with the Universal Game, game Cases or uh, just order straight from customgamecases.com and give Shadow Fox a little bit of money. Dracula. Oh, that last one was a uh, triple action. But here's Dracula. Centipede. Now, the games that were that came in these kind style of con cartridges uh, were done by a, a company called Atari Soft which was kind of weird to me. I didn't think that Atari would make games for another system. Um, but, you know, who knows? All right. Here is Tron Solar Sailor. It's another gold label cart. Yeah, see, this is It Talks, so probably... I think all of them use that have that have the uh, the gold label. We have Star Strike. Again, I've got some inserts. There's the cartridge. And B seventeen bomber. It's another gold label cart because it uses voice. I really like how they uh, they stuck with that, where it was just like the games that that use the Intellivision voice uh, had a theme on like their labels and stuff. Microsurgeon. Kind of an interesting looking game. Uh, 
an ice. Well, that's not a gold cat. That's just plain white with just black blocky text. It's probably one of the earliest games for the system. Really don't know that much about this. I picked this thing up uh, as a lot and got all these games with it. I never once went hunting for an individual in television game. Skiing. Okay, we have baseball. Of course, they have all the diamond stuff, you know, for the, the players and who you're controlling on the cover or the um, overlay. We have sea battle. There's the cartridge. Next we have Atlantis. I wish I had Atlantis too, because that game is stupid expensive. We have Auto Racing. It's by Mattel, which they're the ones really behind the Intellivision. Bump and Jump. I remember this in the arcades. Um, this is not exactly a great version of the game, but it's pretty serviceable. More Dungeons and Dragons. Tower of Doom. Actually, I, I think this is Dungeons and Dragons. I'm pretty sure. Definitely looks like it. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Treasure of Taraman. There's a couple of Dungeons and Dragons games. Yeah, you can tell on the blue label here how the, the adhesive behind the label is actually uh, degrading the pigment in the label. That happens to a lot of them. Uh, they, they just didn't have very good uh, labels and adhesives for them. And this is Tron Deadly Discs. Probably my favorite Tron arcade game was the like Deadly Discs and um, actually the Light Cycle was my favorite, but Deadly Disc was my second favorite. And then Mazatron, another Tron game. It's like they broke up all of the arcade game into multiple at home games. Have Space Battle. And Snafu. Kind of looks like Snake. We have Bomb Squad. It's another talking game, so of course we have the gold label. And the gold labels did not degrade because they're foil. We have Pitfall. It's a good old classic. This is another one of the weird cartridges for the system. Then Frog Bog, not to be confused with Frogger, definitely not to be confused with Frogger, and this label is in awful condition, but again, my Intellivision collection is basically all one big lot that I purchased when I purchased the system. Um, yeah, it's pretty good for 20 bucks. We have football, and here's some plays, and one page of the instruction manual that I managed to still have. And it's kind of odd, but it is it is an NFL game. It is licensed by the NFL. We have Mission X. Again, you can see where the label is degrading a little bit. 
here's the back. And the last one is Lock and Chase. Basic all white label. And just a very plain back. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.